hey what's up folks this is gk so in this video we are going to look at how to use cloud monitoring in google cloud like how to install the cloud monitoring agent and monitor your compute engine instance but also i'm going to show you how to install the agent and also look at other monitoring metrics that you can get with agent the google cloud's operation suite formerly known as stack driver has basically two features so it has a uh, cloud monitoring and cloud logging but in this video we're going to talk about cloud monitoring the agenda for this video is install the monitoring agent i'm going to install monitoring agent in the vm and then i'll also configure monitoring agent with nginx application but you can also replicate this tutorial and use that for your java or spring boot application and then the most important thing we're going to look at the monitoring dashboards uh, how i have configured dashboards and how you can configure custom dashboards etc all right so with that uh, let's go into the website and then i'm going to show you the whole demo how to configure this google cloud's operation suite it was called as stack driver before in the current exam you must have noticed it to be called as stack driver but i think in the future exams maybe they'll change it to the cloud operations suite so make sure you remember that so this whole suite consists of three key features so one feature is uh, cloud logging uh, cloud monitoring and you know apm based uh, features functionalities so for cloud logging and monitoring or anything that you would have to deal with getting the metrics out of a compute engine vm you have to install the agent in the case of cloud logging so google has modified a fluentd agent and then created their own agent which we're going to maybe look at in the future videos and for the cloud monitoring it is still known as a stack driver agent maybe they'll rename that as well uh, but for now we're going to focus on the cloud monitoring so if you're not aware of the difference between cloud monitoring or cloud logging so i would recommend you to go through this website and understand what you do usually with cloud monitoring or cloud logging let me know in the comment section if you want me to go into a deep dive of what are the differences and how companies use both together all right so with that let me take you to the console and we're gonna go over the tutorial i'm gonna show you how i have got these metrics here cpu utilization network utilization network traffic metrics and then memory usage and the nginx thing that i'm going to show you how to configure that so overall if you see you'll see something like this after the demo okay so as usual start with your console and go to the compute engine the reason why we are focusing more on the compute engine is most of you guys when you join the companies you have applications running inside a, a compute engine vm and usually if your application is running in an app engine or cloud functions you must have noticed in my previous videos you would by default get the monitoring and logging metrics as they are managed services but in the case of compute engine if your application is installed inside a compute engine you know like the cloud monitoring would not know what application is that or how to collect the metrics it's more like a client server communication where you install an agent inside the compute engine and then that will keep sending the data to the monitoring dashboard and then you will monitor the dashboards uh, you will monitor the metrics in the dashboard and you'll also set alerts in the dashboard so that ho that's how it works both for logging as well as for monitoring agent so we're going to create a simple instance here so you can create either micro or whatever you want to call it I want to call it as a demo instance can keep these as default and remember do practice this for the exam you might get a question or two on the cloud monitoring etc you can leave the service account as default i'm going to choose allow http traffic because i'm going to install nginx as well so if you want to open that in the browser it's better to enable http traffic you can also do it afterwards one important thing that i want to show you all is if you look at the scopes of the default service account that is attached to the compute engine you see it has already permissions to send information to the stack driver logging and monitoring if you do not have this permission obviously your agent cannot communicate to the apis of the stack driver and cannot send the metrics to the stack driver so that's important thing now we're going to click on create all right so now i have the instance created i also have an external ip address here so the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to go to the monitoring service click on monitoring 
So since we have two compute engines, we're gonna select on view GC dashboard. This is where you're going to see all your VMs and the metrics and stuff. All right, so it shows one active VM and one with agent that I've used before. But now go to the VMs dashboard. And here you will see all the instances. So I have my old instance that I have previously used to prepare for this video. So that has the monitoring agent installed. So the VM that I have created just now, if you see here, the monitoring agent status, it shows as not detected. So meaning that by default, whenever you install a VM from the image of a DBN or whatever, it doesn't have the monitoring agent installed by default. That's what we're going to do here now. So you can either click on not detected here and then install the agent or you can go to the documentation. I'm going to show you that as well. I'm going to paste these links in the description. You can go here and then you can follow these instructions. So now I'm going to take a take the easy route. I'm going to click on not detected here. Operating system here is DBN and then you can click on install agent. So it's going to provision the cloud shell and then it's going to paste the command uh, that is there here. Then enter authorize continue all right so now it's installing the packages then it's going to install the agent so the agent is installed now we're going to go to the vm and we can check the status of the agent or you can always refresh this page and you should see the status as latest but if you want to do that you know just go to the vm again And then click on SSH. Then copy the command, which is uh, sudo service stack driver agent. So the service name is stack driver agent. You're going to see the status of that. All right. So now I'm in the instance, this demo instance. And now, as you can see here, the status of the agent is active and it is running. This is the important thing. Now, here, in the dashboard of monitoring in the monitoring dashboard as you can see it is installed and it is the latest so for now we're not going to install the fluentd or the logging agent but we're going to focus more on the monitoring agent so after the agent is installed you're going to click on the demo instance and now you'll start seeing the cpu utilization network traffic and others which are by default you would see as part of your instance without configuring the agent but with respect to the agent, you will see the agent metrics as well in the agent section. The memory utilization, CPU utilization, CPU load, and all those things that you would see only when you install the agent. So this is the most important thing to remember. I think if you are familiar with AWS, you know this, like there are some monitoring metrics that you get without agent installing agent. For example, you get a CPU and other metrics by default. And some metrics you get only with the agent installed like the memory metrics especially and you can also perform certain actions based on those metrics like if you want to scale the instance or do all those stuff you have to have the agent configured to to get the custom metrics and do other stuff so now the other important thing that you can perform with the agent especially this is the most important thing you have an application installed in the compute engine is monitoring third party applications now by default once you have the agent installed, you can monitor all these third party applications. So Google has provided some of the metrics that you can get once the agent is installed for these. But if you want to do other stuff, you can also do using custom metrics. You know, uh, you, you can create your own custom metrics, which we are not going to discuss in this video. So I'm going to use Nginx, but also you can use Redis or, you know, Apache or whatever you want. So let's say I'm going to monitor Nginx now, right? So for that, the first thing is to install Nginx on the VM. So I'm going to install Nginx by going back to the console shell and then sudo su apt get install 
Nginx. All right, so the Nginx is installed. So I'm going to check the status of that app. Get, oh, sorry, service. Nginx status. So Nginx is running. So we can quickly check that as well by accessing the external API. All right, so Nginx is running and shows up here. Now for the agent to get the metrics of your application or like for example in case of java if you want to get the jvm level metrics or anything that is specific to java you have to configure agent to to that application and then the agent will start monitoring that application and send those metrics to the dashboard through the stack driven api so that's how it works right now for that we have to go back to this section and then this is the command what it does is it goes to the nginx configuration file and it's going to configure uh, to send metrics to the stack driver now the concepts are pretty much similar even with any other monitoring tool for example new relic or dynatrace or any such monitoring tools you will have those agents and then you will configure those agents with application and the application will start or or the agents will start gathering the important information from the application and send those information to the dashboards copy this and done next you're going to reload nginx so this is to configure monitoring configuring monitoring to monitor nginx now we're going to enable the nginx monitoring plugin and this is something that we have to do for the stack driver agent then now we're going to restart the stack driver agent as well all right so after nginx is configured you can only monitor certain default metrics that you will get with nginx so we're going to look at those metrics while it is going to show up in the dashboard so click on nginx here and and you're going to see the full list of metrics the nginx plugin monitors here all right so these are all the metrics that you're going to monitor default when you have nginx installed and when you configure the agent with nginx some of these are like total ac uh, connections accepted the number of connections currently attached to nginx total connections handled sampled over 60 seconds and the number of requests nginx has serviced so we're going to see these uh, metrics now in the dashboard so we're going to go back to the dashboard and now i'm going to do a quick refresh on this just to send some requests ideally if you want to do more testing what you can do is you can perform some load testing on nginx and then configure alerts on this so that you would know whether how you're getting emails and other stuff all right so now go to the gc dashboard again and now we see two active vms go to the vms dashboard demo instance and here we're going to see a nginx tab soon it's not showing this yet uh, but we're going to see that after it starts sending the data to the stack driver or to this operation suite dashboard so the way it's going to look like if i have to go back to my previous vm i'll show you real quick so if you click on my previous vm you would see this new tab nginx and you will see all the nginx connections and other metrics that we have seen in the documentation so these things will be monitored now these are the default dashboards right so if you want to create your own dashboard you know you can click on click on the dashboards here and then create a dashboard on top you can also create a scorecard or whatever graph you want to select the chart library and click on one chart li library that you would like to choose let's say i want to do some uh, i want to call it as an nginx connections or something right and I'm going to select gc instance and here you can select nginx active connections or something like that so you'll see um, nginx connections 
Once you create this and then you can create this as a dashboard for monitoring your multiple applications inside a VM or if you want to combine that with App Engine or anything, you can create this custom dashboard and then you will see that custom dashboard here. So that would be your new dashboard that you would like to see and you know share it with your team members. And then click on Metrics Explorer. You can see different metrics here and then if you want to alert on those metrics, you can go to the alerting then you can set up some email notifications. I'm going to go over this part, maybe in the next part of this video. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. But again, do practice this for the exam. Uh, make sure that you understand the concepts, right? And you understand what is what you can monitor with the agent and what you, you can monitor by default without an agent and how to configure agent with your application. With that, thank you so much for watching this video. And let me know in the comment section if you have any questions on this. Thank you.